This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Okay, I was so impressed with the DGT SE that I thought, let's see if the other kind of modern SEs are also worth kind of screaming about. Uh, the box looks a little bit battered actually, so I don't know what's gone on with that. Immediately what I'm noticing is this is incredibly lightweight. I'm also noticing that there's a hell of a lot of scraping and stuff on it. Uh, meaning that this is probably an X display model, right? So we do hear quite a lot about PRS's uh, QC and the PRS Europe have their own kind of, kind of steps that they go through at the European Tech Centre apparently. Uh, I don't know how you would miss on this guitar that basically this third fret is cut very badly or has been damaged and it's basically just chopped straight down um, this third fret so it doesn't really have like a taper it just is cut and then there's like a three millimeter gap to the edge of the fretboard. Um, this is not what I'd have expected to kind of slip through the net on a uh, thousand and fifty pound guitar. Uh, aside from that, um, the frets on this are a little bit rougher than the PRS DGT SE that I've got. Um, I was so impressed with the PRS DGT SE that I thought um, I want to try some more of these kind of uh, Indonesian SE PRS guitars because that one to me played even better and impressed me way more than the PRS Core. Um, this has not put me off this guitar 
in general, uh, as in this model, I'm going to try another model, but this particular one is going to have to go back because I don't want to pay £1,050 basically for a guitar which has uh, a fret that needs repairing, essentially. Um, other than that, this is a really nice lightweight example. Um, what you've got going on here is essentially PRS's take more or less on the Les Paul type guitar, but with a double cut. Um, they have a single cut 594 as well. The 594 refers to the scale length. It's kind of Gibson-ish. Um, and then basically you've got the setup here like a Les Paul, which I, I've grown to sort of enjoy, um, but also with a coil split, that's kind of the key difference. Um, does it play like a Les Paul? Actually, no, not really. Uh, it doesn't really sit on your lap like a Les Paul either, which could be a good or a bad thing. If you're going for a Les Paul vibe, I don't think this really feels much like it. It's much more refined and uh, smoother. But in this particular example, the fretwork is, I don't think, to the level that I'm super happy with it. Like, it felt a little bit scrapey under the fingers. Um, and that particular fault there, for that reason, it's going to be going back. But I'm going to try another one from Peach Guitars and see if I can find a guitar in that way that I, I really, really enjoy. Um, I think that for me, if this was, you know, not a £1,000.50 guitar, I'd probably be a little bit more lenient on it. But since it, they're charging sort of pretty big prices for, for this kind of money... Um, you know, these are the sorts of imperfections that I've seen on like the Sire guitars, but I'm expecting when I spend, you know, over a thousand pounds on an Indonesian guitar that the QC is going to be, at, I think, a little bit of a level above. Um, the inlays seem to be done pretty well and stuff. It's just a couple of little faults. So overall, I would have hoped with PRS's QC and, you know, two sets of people doing QC that they would have spotted that. Um, for whatever reason on this particular one they haven't i'm going to try another one and report back i think that is why i don't really feel guilty about this because it's quite an expensive guitar for an indonesian made guitar and i think it's okay in that case to use your rights as a consumer to to, to get the one that is kind of up to par this one's got a few marks on the body as well like in the wood it's not not really free of imperfections. Uh, I was expecting something a little bit closer to my PRS DGTSE. So, but in general, I like the idea behind the guitar. So, I'm, I'm definitely going to try another one. Here's some unplugged playing. Let me know your thoughts on the SE594. Am I being too fussy, or is this the sort of thing that you'd be returning a guitar for as well? I'd like to know your thoughts on that. Um, in this case, it's just I don't think for this money that I'd be accepting. You know, a fret that is kind of. I don't know how they've managed to do it, but they have done it. Um, you can't quite feel it because it's chopped beneath the binding, like it doesn't reach the binding, but it's definitely not how a fret is supposed to be. So, um, yeah. <laughs>